Hello and welcome back to yet another video series from Digital E-Learning. So today we will be covering the Fault Tree Analysis FTA. So FTA is a top-down approach which is the combination of events and logic gates to identify the top and desired event. So in this video we are going to look at a detail about what is Fault Tree Analysis, what are different events and different gates that we use for constructing an FTA. And we will also look at a couple of examples to help you explain in a better way. So please watch this video till the end. Don't forget to like, comment and share with all your friends as well and in case if you are visiting my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe as well and to hit that bell icon as well for all the notifications from digital e-learning on my upcoming next videos. FTA or a fault tree analysis is a top-down approach that was originally developed in 1962 at the Bell Laboratories by H.A. Watson. FTA consists of two elements, events and the logic gates which connects the events to identify the cause of a top and desired event, which is the last event to occur. Here the fault tree analysis does not make any assumptions. It brings together all the perspective that could cause the event of concern. Typically FTA layout looks like this, where this is the top and desired event or the last event to occur. Then we have the undeveloped events, we have the logic gates whether AND gate or OR gate, we have the intermediate events and finally we have the basic event. We are going to look at all this in more detail in the coming slides. Today it is widely used in aerospace, automobile, electronics and nuclear industries. So what are events? So we will look at the undeveloped event, we will look at the intermediate event, we will look at the basic event, we will also look at the transfers. So the undeveloped event is the event where there is no scope of developing it further. It could be because of the uh, economic consideration or there is no much information available downstream. Then we have the intermediate events. So these are the events which occur between the top event and the basic events. Basic events are the events which are the lowermost event that cannot be further developed. And then we have the transfers. So transfer gates are usually used to signify the continuation of a tree on a separate sheet. It's just for ease of representation. So what are logic gates? As we have seen the events, so there are normally two types of logic gates that are widely used in while creating an FTA. One is the AND gate, another is the OR gate. So AND gate says output event occurs only if all the input event occurs. OR gate says output event occurs if any one of the input event occur. Let's try to get a more clear picture of this AND gate and OR gate. So we will start with AND gate. Suppose if we have an input A and input B which is coming to an AND gate and we get output C. So for AND gate condition, all the input events should occur simultaneously. Suppose if I say 1 denotes the input and 0 does denote there is no input to that signal. So if there is input at A which is 1 and there is also input at B, so we will get output 1. So if there is input at A in AND gate and there is an input there is no input in fact at B, so you will not get any output here. Same is the case for if there is no input at A and there is an input at B, you will not get any output. 0, 0, you will get no output. Now let us look at for OR gate. The condition says that if any one of input we have, we will get the output. So if we have input at A and we have also have input at B, so we will definitely get an output here. If we have an input at A and we don't have input at B, but we'll get an input output C here. Same is the case for if we don't have any input at A or an output, but we have an input at B, we'll get an output. But if we don't have input at either of these, we'll not get any output. So this is how we do in uh, logic gates for AND and OR gate. FTA can yield both the qualitative and well as the quantitative information about the study. Qualitative information may include failure path, root cause, weak areas of system or project. While the quantitative FTA gives us the probability 
estimation of a top event if the quantitative information is needed calculate the probability of a top event and finally determine whether the corrective actions are required if necessary develop a measure to eradicate the fault path or minimize the probability of fault occurrence let us now do some practical applications of fta so we look at the first case study so this is your scenario so it says that he has missed the bus this morning and he was late for the office and he couldn't get up so he has missed this bus now we will try to create a fta around this situation so my top event here is i missed the bus this morning i will apply an or gate here the first event that i have is that i had a late breakfast i will keep this uh, as an undeveloped event because there is no point developing it further the next event that i have is in i wake up late here i will apply an and gate and uh, the two events that are leading to this wake up late is that i when i slept late and alarm did not ring so this both these event has to occur in simultaneously for wake up late to happen and why the alarm did not ring is because this is a faulty alarm i slept late i will keep it as a undeveloped event the other event is that we have is that i did not reach the bus stop on time okay here i am going to apply an or gate so there are two events here which either this can occur which could trigger the i did not reach the bus stop on time one is that there are other interruptions maybe i have met some friend or relative in between or i am walking slowly so other interruptions i am going to put it in my undeveloped event and but i am walking slowly i am going to apply an and gate here because i am slowly lazy and i have a pain in my leg so both these lazy and pain in leg could lead to me for walking slowly and which could trigger that i didn't reach the bus stop on time and which ultimately lead to the i missed the bus this morning let us look at some other case study here so the situation is that uh, you are enjoying uh, the pool right now and suddenly there is a pool collapse so we will use this to construct our fta so my top event here is that pool collapse that is a top and that event and here i am going to apply an or gate and i will have three events here which could lead to which any one of these event could lead to the pool collapse one is that there is too much pressure against the walls of pools so i am not going to develop it further i will keep it as a undeveloped event then missing parts it could be anything we will develop it further and finally the user does not follow the instructions while using the pool this could be the one of my basic events now i'm i have found one basic event but from the missing parts i'm going to develop it develop it little bit further down so we're going to apply an or gate here so missing parts could be either it is because of the missing nuts or missing bolts which could trigger the a uh, pool collapse so all these three events any of these event can trigger the pool collapse so my basic events what i what i found is that they are missing nuts or missing bolts or the user does not follow the instructions this is a simple example of a fta so that is all i have on this video on fta fault tree analysis i hope you have liked this video so there is no such single uh, way of creating fta multiple users can have different thinking they can apply different gates or different uh, they want to develop some events and some other don't want to develop that event so there is no right or wrong way of doing fta is just that if team is in consensus that we are following this approach then you can go ahead and create an fta based on that and if you still have any questions on fta just comment Uh, write your comments in the sections below and what is your experience of using this tool please do let me know in the comment section below as well thank you and have a great day
Now you can follow Digital e-learning on other social media platforms like Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Telegram, Facebook and Twitter and link for all these social media platforms is given below in the description you can check out those and you can follow us on all these social media platforms from all the updates from Digital e-learning. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with all your friends and colleagues and do comment below. Your comments are really motivating. Thank you. Thanks for watching Digital e-learning. Have a fantastic day ahead.